So, when I sent out the material list for the uh, syringe, I didn't always put a size suggestion on there <laughs> until someone brought this big boy. Wow, look at that. Look at that, huh? That's a big one. They use these for elephants, I guess. I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah. But, uh, um, this is the 20 milliliter size, which is about right. It doesn't have to be this. If you have a smaller one, that's fine too. But one thing you want to do for sure, and I set this here so I wouldn't forget because I probably would have if I hadn't done this, is uh, cover your sky. Protect your sky at all costs. Um, and actually, this, you know, we're not like splattering things, but just to be on the safe side, um, probably don't bring this right up to this water line because you want to make sure you're seeing anything that's going on. You know, if there's something going on that you don't want to be going on, like something pouring up. But if you've left this masking on the shoreline, you've got like a natural dam. Because wh what we're going to do, and the reason we do this, and this is like a, a, a poor light. I mean, because we, we're, we're, you know, it's, it, it'll be plenty to manage to be sure to do this. But last year, you know, we had then a, a shoreline that we had to deal with too, where you're trying to merge the shoreline mm. with, with this color as if, as if the sandy shore was slowly receding underneath the water surface. Um, but this... The reason I'm going to wet it like this, and, I'm going to, and I'll explain this better in a minute, but the reason that I'm doing it is, is that sometimes, and even in this case, but th this is not a radical uh, case, I, I want to put this lake color on, and you hate to disturb the paint that's underneath here. So if I come in here with a wet brush and start you know, brushing on this turquoise, I'm going to lift some of this. I'll certainly lift this stuff here, I think, right up. And you want to try to distort as little as possible. Now, even when I wet this with the syringe, I'm still some of it's still gonna, you know, come off. But and but it, it's less so. The other reason that I do it is you can you can get this sort of a, in this case horizontal kind of bands of, of color where they vary, which you know works nicely on lakes sometimes. Um, and in case I forget to say it, just imagine that I poured all this turquoise on here now. I'm going to pre-wet all this, just the lake, the lake surface. And just imagine that I had all this turquoise on here. Um, sometimes on paintings, and not on this one, but sometimes then as it's, there's a point where just before it dries, and if I'm holding it kind of, kind of tilted like this, I'll, I'll then come with a, a syringe with water and squirt it up here, and I'll get a bead that'll run down. And depending on how almost dry or almost, you know, well, you know what I mean? There's this fine line between losing its sheen and, and being saturated. Um, but, but depending on where that point is, you'll get this, uh, well, kind of a hard edge, you know, it'll form an interesting edge. And, and of course it varies. I mean, you can, you can overpower it. It's kind of a, a dangerous thing to do in a way because if everything else is going well, we're not doing this on this one. I'm just saying if, if, in the safety of your home, you know, if you're, uh, if you're wanting to try, try something else, um, try that sometime on a wash because uh, for, for real calm lakes, you get this very interesting horizontal sort of line, and you've all seen that on lakes, you'll get these yeah. light, light lines and things. Again, we're not doing that here. So here, um, actually, I, I, I'm going to have to stand up for this, you know, I can't even sit for this one, I'm always sitting down here, but I think I will stand up, and I'm not even going to do this because this thing's just dragging, so... See, I'm full, no protection here, no protection. <laughs> just like the rest of us. Yeah, no protection. <laughs> yep, I'm just, just out there. Okay, you want to be on your side. I can't over, so you want to have everything ready. You want to have your syringe ready. You want to make sure that your syringe works because, uh, yeah, well, sometimes those plungers stick if you don't use them for a while. You know, and if you, you, know, you, you get everything ready and the plunger is sticking, you got a problem. So the plunger works, check. Um, I've got some turquoise mixed here, and I'm going to take and uh, now if, if you all don't have pools like this, we have these little cups there. You can put some in there, and I can do that on this one. It, um, and, and this is what I'll talk about. Uh, is that this a very the, loose mix right there? Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. It's this whole consistency thing. This is, uh, this is thick cream, what I've got going here. But if you want to mix some... In this little cup thing, you know, by all means, if you don't have a pool like that, do that. Um, one thing I, I'll, I'll say too that I see people doing a lot is mixing with that, like the handle of their brush. The problem with that is that it, it often it often um, doesn't smush up the the clumps and things. So I, I like to use a brush 
for that. I have an older brush. This was actually my grandmother's brush. It's not a great brush, but, but it's a br I, I wanted to have it, so it's always in my kit here. So I'll, I'll kind of use this. And, and, and it smushes up. I use it all the time. So you do that. Um, but this, this will smush up the, 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 the little pieces so you don't get the chunks because what you don't want is to uh, draw a chunk into here. And get that on there. And if you do that, um, deal with it right away because everything's going to be nice and saturated. And you can probably still smooth it out, but it'd be way better if you don't get it in there at all. So make sure it's make sure it's well mixed is what I'm saying. So I'm about, oh, and that you, straight edges, you're going to see that I'm going to spray with a water bottle first, and I want to protect it. I'm not going to get exactly on the shoreline, but I'm going to get it pretty darn close. And I'll, I'm, I use this because I can see through it a little bit and make sure I'm going to be going. first. I'm going to I'm going to spray it. Then I'm, I might have to use a brush just to touch some of these edges. The, 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 the name of the game is get the lake surface wet, doing minimal um, distorting, I guess, minimal disrupting of the paint that's on there. So if I come in with a brush to kind of touch some of that, I'm going to do it very lightly. But I want to establish everything being wet because then I can draw some water with the syringe and test my tracking here. You know, with the syringe, I can kind of walk it along and then bring it along here. You want to make sure that everything is flowing down and everything's staying in the lake. You don't want your lake leaving the lake. So if it is, you know, stop everything and, and you know, dry that. You, you kind of have to just stop what you're doing. But I think with this border that we have here, I think we'll, uh, we'll be fine on the last... The, Poor last class. I told them, uh, you know, because I, I had this little distant one. I was talking about this distant shoreline, and I said, you know, I did that on the original, but I don't really think we have to do that. Let's just take that one out, um, which was a bad choice because it makes a natural hook point here, you know, on this point, so they could have water running out. So it turned out they, they did. They were able to throw it in kind of quickly, and I put it back there because this is stepping back, and everything runs down here. What else did I want to say here? Um... And it's crucial that you're, you're, you're going to, I'm going to end up holding this higher like this. Is that on screen still? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, but, but do have something set up so that you're, you're always at this angle. Even, even when I'm done, when I relax it, I, I want to be able to set it back to a sideways tilt. Whatever you do, do not start doing this. And I, but I see people doing it all the time. Not here. I know you people won't do this. But, but I've seen it. I've seen it happen. You do this sort of thing and this sort of thing. And, and two things, you, you lose the effect because you're losing the horizontal thing. You're, you know, you're looking at it and everything's you know, pouring downhill for you. You don't want to do that. And, of course, here you, know, you risk running it uphill. So keep it sideways. The, the, you're, you're adjusting like this. You know, if you have to make things move, you, you, you do it this way. Okay. How do we say the weight? Good question, because it's crucial to save the whites down in here. Um, I, I want, you know, I'm, I'm going to, of course, I'm going to be pouring it. I don't really need, I'm looking at, the, you know, you can look at the original. I'm looking at my little um, printout. Basically, the bottom is, is foliage. It'll be this fireweed. Um, comes a little higher here. I didn't, I didn't quite, you know, follow the contour of this mountain, but there is a little bit of sky here. So I, I, I do need the turquoise to come in here. So I'll end up pouring it here, and it's going to come here, but I'm going to want to kind of get rid of it here in this area. So while this is very wet, I'll, after I get the turquoise on here, the kind of the way that I want, I'm going to draw more water, get the paint out, draw water, and I'm going to kind of start running some of this off, this area here. With the syringe. With the syringe. Last time, see, sometimes I think I have better ways of doing things. I think, you know what? I used the syringe the first time. I thought, I have a better way to do this. I'm going to use my spray gun, and I'm going to do that. And it was okay, except it, it made too hard of a, it made it made too hard of a light area. So I was committed, you know, to, to filling that. It'd be better, I think, if it if the white, if this makes sense. You've got the turquoise. You need to kind of clear some of this back to the white. It'd be better, I think, if it had sort of a horizontal thing going on. So I, I don't recommend the the spray brush as I did last time. Um, I suppose you could do, you know, downward. I was, I guess I was, but no, I'm going to try. I'll try it now with the syringe and we'll see. Sorry, how can you do that if your syringe is full of paint? You don't have time to clean it and get clear water back. Um, yeah, it's got paint. I'm watching it. 
And when it looks like I'm not going to be adding any, any, adding any more paint, um, you can, in fact, it's handy to have these just for that, for no other reason. Um, squirt it back into your reservoir, the paint, so you don't waste it, what you have, which would be kind of watery. Um, or uh, squirt it into that. So you, you do clear it out. And then, of course, with the syringe, if you, you know, bring it up and down a few times, drying out of the water, you'll, you'll clear it out. And I almost didn't say this, because this is important. Even though we have a, a consistency here, of thick cream. Is that our definition? Thick cream? Is that what we said? Yeah. Um, you're st I'm still going to draw water in. So I'll draw some of this in and then I'll probably, and, and I'm guesstimating. So let's say thick cream, um, one part thick cream, and then maybe four parts water. Does that work? That's kind of a, Sounds like cooking. That's a good place to start. Yeah. So, so I'm going to have the thick cream turquoise in here and then I'm going to pull water into it. And that, of course, that'll mix it so it's very watery. But better to start, you know, a little watery. And if you start it out, you know, if it's a little thin, then uh, you can add some. But you don't want to put this, you don't want to go thick cream on here. Okay, so you got to add some water. And I'm not exactly sure what, where that it. is. How do you do that? Now, I think when you draw the water and it mixes it pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Is there any nurses or medical people here? I mean, isn't that, there, there, there seems to be a natural mixing when I do that anyway. So, okay. I talk and talk. But, but there are, it is kind of important to, to make sure you have the pieces ready for sure. Make sure you have the paint mixed. Okay, so what I'm going to do first here is uh, spray. I'm going to use this. I'm going to hold this. Uh, let me get my glasses on here so I can see what I'm actually doing. Um, oh, and the other thing is that oh, you, you, I've left the, the reflection of the masking on. So you've got the rocks. This is easier to see here. So you've got the rocks and you have the reflection. It's still masked. And I realize that that has to be turquoise. That is, is kind of easy to come in afterwards, after everything is dry. And we'll actually shade these rocks a bit. Mm -hmm. And after we've done that, then we'll come in and manually dry, put some turquoise right over that bottom, the reflection of the rock. And it, it fuses in pretty easily because you already have hard edges here, see? Yeah. And then that helps the viewer say, okay, those are rocks, you know, real rocks, and those are just reflections because you're, you're giving them that visual cue of adding the turquoise. And I actually even do it in this, you know, little skinny area here, you know, I'll, I'll ride along the bottom of it with a small brush, putting the turquoise, but that's for after. So I do realize that, that but I like the masking here because it's, it's a natural dam. It just kind of helps keep things in here. I've done these pores without this, um, but then you really, you know, you can imagine, I mean, even though you're running this direction, it, it gets kind of harder to manage. So, all right, so we'll spray, I'm going to hold this Kind of like here, and, and I, I want to get sort of close on here, and I, I just want to spray everything. I'm just trying to keep it in. It's, it, I'm not getting right up to the shoreline, and, I, and I'm going to back this up with the syringe. I, let's see, let's do this. I think I'm okay. Be careful when you move uh, your straight edge thing like I just did, because it might have water on the bottom, and you might... Okay, so I think I might be okay. So now I'm going to grab... I'll see if I can do this all with the syringe here. Whoops. I'm just drawing water in. Because now you, you, there's no, everything's safe here now because you're just adding water. And I'm going to try and track it along the shore here. So here I'm going to use a syringe and see, so I'm just slowly walking it down the shore to make sure that it's staying on the shore. You want to be steep when you do this. I see, I don't, there I might come in with a brush to wet that. <laughs> Because it, and this this will lift less. It's less likely to lift. So here I'll just help it along a little bit, at least till I get to there. And now I can come in with the syringe again. Whoops, that's not good. I went over. Okay. I think I probably should have walked it all the way down in that part. But since I did that, let me tilt it a little bit towards you. See if I can get this to walk properly. So now that I did that, I have a little bit of a danger. I'll have to watch that. Just water, just yeah, water, so I'm, I'm hoping that it's not going to track over that. And I'm going to come back up here again and just do this. Let's see what it does. So I'm, I'm following the shoreline. Is it going to stay in? Looks like it might yep. behave. Okay, it might behave. So this is the thing you want to do because everything's safe. You haven't done anything. And you can see I haven't lifted any of that really. You know, maybe a little bit it's coming off, but... I'll come here and kind of re-wet the rest of this, make sure that you don't, I don't have any dry spots. Kind of get it nice and wet. Because when you wet everything like this, it, it buys you time to do things. Now I'm going to 
draw, what did I say? I'll draw that much in and then I'll draw the rest with water. And I'm gonna tilt this. Wow, oh, it's dripping. Whoa, that's scary. All right. Let's do this. It's ragged. I'm gonna, oh my All right, God. I'm gonna walk along the shore. Oh. Thank you. Walk along the shoreline first. Is that showing up on the camera? Yeah, yes. All it's right. Cool. Wow, it's, it's dark. That I didn't go. Good. Yeah, this. You no, know, you don't want to. I don't think scary. go any darker than this. But see, here's where I ran over, so I got to be careful. I don't. I might have to hit that with a brush. Now I'll come back here. I've lost some of this. So I'm tilting it, but I'm not doing it forward or backwards. It's just, just on its side. There's a couple dry spots I'll have to deal with. I don't want to go any further wow. down oh, than that. Cool. I'll do this. All right, I'm just going to set that down for a moment. I've got a little flat. I can grab some of this, and this here I've got to get that wet. I missed that. Get that wet. You see those spots? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, I could even come up here now. I, I could do this after, too, but I'll just get that little corner, which I didn't dare go in with the syringe. So I'm just, I'm just wanting to get that shoreline. But see, it didn't really disrupt anything up here. Here I've got a dry spot and a dry spot. And now I've got to uh, put some water in here. So I'm kind of flushing it out. And now I've got to uh, tend to this here. I probably even waited a little while here. I might have to pull out my brush. Oh, yeah, I didn't put enough rags right. down. Yeah, thank you. Got it. So now I have to return the favor and be there when you guys do this and have the extra rags and things, don't I? All right. Um, yeah, the thing with this turquoise is very much a stainer, so now that I said that I didn't want to take my uh, spray bottle out, I think I'm committed to doing it. I believe I'm going to have to. Yeah. And, and I'm going to spray away from yeah. spray away from the uh, sky for sure. I'll come up here a ways. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> and I, but it, it, you'll still get the soft edge. The, the problem is I, all right, I want to kind of retain my... But do not spray that way. No. Right, I'll kind of clear this off here. I want there's a this area is exposed on there, so I have to make mm -hmm. sure that it keep, keeps there. But I do need to lift more. I got to get more into here. So I guess I do have to do this. That's why I did it. It's all coming back to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just dry this part really quick because I see how that's backwashed yeah. on me yeah. there. Yeah. So you got to tell me while you're right. Just give me one second here. And I can talk about this. Um, yeah, so don't let it sit like that on the bottom like I, I did. So as soon as you get the effect that you want, then then uh, stabilize it. Not, um, and don't, this is a, a bit off center because, I mean, just don't, don't do a total V here. Make sure that this, this is going to be a little bit of a, an exposed sky area. And see, that's why I didn't bother putting the sky colors in because it, it was going to kind of cover. But don't let that be right in the center there. You know, I'm kind of dangerously close to that here, but but I'm but I am off a bit, so I think I'm fine. This area is a little bit bigger than that area, and and that's the area that I'm going to be throwing in. And do watch this little area down here. Um, and then, uh, but cover your sky, but but don't cover it all the way to the water because you you want to be able to see if something runs over. Do make sure you have all the things you need ready. Your your paint is mixed. Your syringe is works. Your you've got water to work with. Adequate rags to catch the paint that I, I didn't have, that someone rescued me. And I'll try to be there to rescue you too. <laughs>